I was thrust into this um, group for my two weeks work in 1959. Second year engineering. What an inspiration. What a privilege. I came from the other end of the Snowy River down in Victoria on a, on a farm out from Orbost. Um, and my father, who had the farm, said, wouldn't it be wonderful if they could do something about stopping these bloody floods? If every snow melt, the floods would come down and cover the crops and so on. It was difficult for them. And then when the Snowy Scheme started, he was one of the ones who was invited because at the time he was the Shire President. And when he returned, I know his eyes were still big like this, and he said, they're going to put tunnels through the mountains and they're going to take the water into the inland rivers. And, he, and uh, this seemed to be so far-fetched for, um, for, for me, just a, a country boy. And, um, it would be wonderful if they did, and they did build the tunnels, and they did build dams. So it was a huge investment for Australia, but of course the, the, the benefit was absolutely um, outstanding, not only with regard to the water that would be diverted to inland Australia, but in the production of hydroelectric power from water falling from great height to a low level. Renewable energy. So I can remember my first day. I went down to, uh, was allocated a, a snow hut and given a pallias, like a big long hessian bag told to go up to the shed up the road and just stuff it with straw for my mattress. I had to provide my own pillow and blankets which I had brought with me. And so I put that on an old wire bed first and um, that was my, that was my, uh, my bed. Working in the cold, well, you certainly had to work and we didn't have the type of footwear and so on that is available these days and so you would put on two pairs of socks and uh, quite often wore your pyjamas underneath your trousers um, and a jumper or two and um, you had to provide your own gloves if you were working but uh, well you, you had to work to keep your blood circulating. We were all felt very proud and what made it so because Sir William used to come and see us and talk to us individually and he knew each person by name, even me, <laughs> I was only a little office worker. To me it was a great memory to be able to look back on that and it was all part of my growing up and uh, I'm certainly glad that I, my feet turned me in this direction when they did and I found a place on the snowy scheme.